in this vlog, vlog number 37 in the series, Detroit, America's Great Comeback City from Travels with Lobo, I'm looking at the announcement on Monday made by General Motors that it would shutter five plants, stop building six slow-selling passenger cars in North America, and cut up to 15,000 jobs. How does that affect Detroit? This is my perspective. Well, the building built for the Fisher Brothers Plant 21 was impressive. It was not the largest design by Albert Kahn. That honor went to the Packard Motor Company, as you will see shortly. <laughs> Packard was an American luxury brand built by Packard Motor Company of Detroit, Michigan. The first Packard automobiles were produced in 1899, and the last Detroit-built Packard was in 1956 when the factory shut down. Ironically, at the end of the Packard Motors video, I said the following about the GM Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant. And just a mile down from the former Packard plant along Grand Boulevard, you have the GM Hamtramck Assembly Line, Detroit Hamtramck Assembly. Is it possible, just possible, that 50 years from now, some YouTube vlogger, if YouTube is still around, is showing you the same thing about this plant that I'm showing you now about the Packard plant? Nah, I don't think so. Technology is too advanced. But then on the other hand, I think Packard was put out of business because they couldn't keep up with the technology. And I would be remiss in not mentioning that on this site was a former Dodge main factory from 1910 until 1980. Another piece of history in the decline of Detroit. But it's on the way up, believe me. In retrospect, boy was I wrong about 50 years from now. Just wait till you get this story. Monday, November 26, 2018 was not a good day here in Detroit, as the newspaper headlines indicate. General Motors to idle five plants cut 6,000 salary jobs. GM's Hamtramck plant closing reopens old controversy in Detroit. GM decision to close Detroit Hamtramck met with shock and anger. And here's the kicker. GM to kill Chevrolet Volt, Cruze, Impala, 
as Americans ditch passenger cars in favor of trucks and SUV. In a shocking turn of events gone from the GM lineup are the Chevrolet Volt, Chevrolet Cruze, Chevrolet Impala, Cadillac CT6, Cadillac XTS, and the Buick La Crosse. Since the Detroit Hamtramck GM assembly plant made most of these, they were right in the middle of the target of the shutdowns. To further my storyline, I go back to vlog number 12, Detroit Auto Show, made in Detroit. Are there still cars which are manufactured in the city of Detroit? We'll have a look. Today's auto plants are very secretive. When I engaged two employees in conversation who were in a parking lot on the other side of the fence as to what was manufactured here apart from the Cadillac, no comment. Our anniversary last year, 115 years. 1902 founded right here in Detroit. Uh, so we decided to make a special edition to commemorate that. That's what this is up on stage. So you Also manufactured at the General Motors Hamtramck assembly plant is the Buick La Crosse. Another car manufactured in the Hamtramck GM plant is the Chevrolet Impala. The final car that is manufactured at the Hamtramck plant is a Chevy Volt that carries General Motors electric car hopes. Perhaps the most surprising part of the story was General Motors pulling the plug on the Chevrolet Volt. This was to be the future of the corporation, an electric car, but at the same time it was a hybrid and a small car at that.
after surprisingly pulling the plug on the Chevrolet Volt. The new hopes rest with the Chevrolet Bolt, an all-electric vehicle. First-year sales have been disappointing at only 22,000 units sold. Back home in Victoria, British Columbia, I drive a Volvo 2004 V70, which is a sedan, station wagon. Here in Detroit, I drive my brother's Chevrolet Equinox. By the way, the best-selling car in Detroit. It's an SUV. I love driving it much more than my Volvo, which seems too low and too difficult to drive compared to this Equinox. Does that tell you something about the state of the automobile industry? I think so. As a Canadian, I have to mention that the biggest hit was taken by the Oshawa plant, which has a forecast loss of 2,500 jobs in a city of 160,000 located just east of Toronto. Not good news. Are you still here? Well, in that case, thank you for viewing, a thumbs up, and hitting the alert button on the subscribe. Thank you so much. See you next Friday. Last Friday, I promised to show you a different type of art that you'll only find here in Detroit, but that story was pushed back due to this breaking news story on GM. So that will be coming next Friday. Have a great week.